Hello and welcome to the online request for quotation session how to modify the HTML page that the vendor sees and for example I will change one of the columns headers to something different. Please keep in mind that any change you make and now uh, may be wiped in future updates or of either uh, when you upgrade to a different version of SAP Business One uh, or you just upgrade the B1IF, um, the changes that you just have made uh, will be wiped out. So uh, make sure that you may have a copy of them if you want to re deploy them, and then you will have to re uh, apply the changes to make them uh, work again after the upgrade. So in order for you to do so, uh, or you will have to, uh, for example, uh, generate a request for quotation. In my case, I already have an incoming email I got uh, for a specific um, uh, notification. And here I can uh, open my uh, link to the HTML page. And you can see here, this is the standard out of the box uh, um, online purchase quotation uh, for that the window sees and for example let's say I would like to change the uh, header of this uh, column here from unit of measure to for example quantity per unit of measure and uh, let's close here the page in order to do so I will have to modify uh, the JavaScript that um, the page uh, is, is is using, and to do so, um, you can uh, open the file explorer, and you go to the where the installation framework is being is actually installed. In my case, it's program files 86, uh, the SAP directory, SAP Business One integration, integration server, Tomcat. And here we go to the web apps subfolder, um, and we see here there is the old RFQ directory um, starting uh, in 9.2, and this was changed, and now the RFQ is actually being uh, deployed in, under the accelerator, the one accelerator directory, and here we will have another RFQ subdirectory. And here let's go to the ITW OUI5. And here we have all the JavaScript that uh, is being used uh, with this HTML page. And I'm going to modify my RFQ view.view.js, which is the JavaScript page. So you can edit that. I'm, I'm using my Notepad++ to edit. And let's search for unit of measure. And this is my unit of measure line. And this is the label that actually is being used um, and now as you can see here uh, the label is actually being brought uh, from another uh, resource file but uh, just for the simplicity uh, I'm going to hard code a different value so instead of uh, having a unit of measure uh, let's uh, do that let's so I'm going to uh, first of all uh, mark out the uh, the line and let me duplicate this line and instead of having a link to another resource area that I have the translation for the field I'm going to hard code this to some specific for example value for example a quantity per unit of measure this is just an example okay so now uh, let's save this uh, JavaScript file. And one thing that you have to do before uh, this will take effect, and I'm going to show you actually before and after. So now uh, let's uh, open um, the page, and you can see uh, it's updated the, uh, the value of the column to quantity per unit of measure that I changed. Now, if this was not updated, uh, sometimes it's because of a cache of the browser. So if in my case I have Chrome, uh, you'll easily be able to go and clear the browsing data 
and clear your uh, cache images and file and when the moment you do that and reopen the file it should get the latest uh, JavaScript uh, information and not to use the existing uh, cached data. In my case it's already right so there's no need to do that but uh, if this happens then just refresh the cache uh, for the browser.